Thanks for watching this video. And first off, I just want to apologize for what you're about to see in the next 20 minutes. This bike was totaled. It's got a headlight and a fairing stay and no ram air. And I kind of just built this video just to sort of show you how to kind of assemble the ram air from scratch. So right now I'm just disconnecting the tip sensor. Um, you see the headlight on the workbench. Uh, I do have a printout of the shop manual. It, nothing in the shop manual, no pictures online told me what went where, how it went together. So I had to guess that a lot of this, the zip tie you just see me removing, the person that worked on the bike before me decided it was a good idea to zip, dot, zip tie your uh, tip sensor. This is the oil tip sensor. So if your bike falls over, it shuts it off. That belongs on the fairing. So I bought a new one of those. That's going to go on the bike. Everything that I purchased except for the Ram air tubes are Honda OEM parts. I purchased them from Bike Bandit. I went on their web page and just opened the Ram Air page and just started clicking one down the page or two or however many it needed to put this Ram Air back together. When I was done, I was just over 800 bucks for all the parts that I needed to put the Ram Air back together. And I still didn't know how to put it together even with the diagrams, these diagrams are just terrible. Um, right there's the tip sensor that was between the headlights. I did tell you I bought a new tip sensor. Um, I'm working on the vacuum tank right now. I'm not sure exactly how the vacuum tank goes together, but once I start fiddling around with it, I get it. This is my kit. Um, these are just uh, fairing kits those fairing screw kits you see on eBay the really crappy kits they're like anywhere from nine to twenty dollars for the kit I have quite a few kits that I've put together in the past and I just put it in this little tray so I would have screws and fasteners and that kind of thing uh, it comes in handy when I'm working on a bike it's going to come in handy because I need screws to mount this bracket and this vacuum canister to the headlight. have no idea how it's supposed to go, but I think I've figured it out. And it should mount downward. Uh, so the vacuum tubes just plug into the bottom. Again, I apologize. Uh, this is uh, just a just very difficult. If I can't see what I'm building, it, I find it hard to actually put it together and have it together correctly the first time. And like I said, the the Honda CBR 1000 service manual is a terrible, a terrible example of how to uh, do your ram air I couldn't find anything on YouTube on how to do the ram air I couldn't find any pictures online I have a buddy that had one of these 2008 CBR 1000 RR's I texted him to see if I could come over to his house and take some pictures of his bike he sold his 2008 CBR last month so he no longer has it I don't know who else I could turn to um, so I'm just have to uh, fiddle around and hope I can get this stuff back together so I have my vacuum canister back on the headlight and uh, this part that's in my hand now is like a little one-way vacuum valve that comes off the vacuum hose from your bike 
and then there's a T that goes along with it. When I open this one-way valve, again, the pictures are terrible. I couldn't tell which way the vacuum goes. I know that the vacuum should be sucking um, the ram air. So I, know, I knew that from the engine I should be able to pull from the ram air portion so that's how I have it set up in the direction I have it set up the tube that's on it right now I believe goes to the ram air and then the next one goes to that vacuum canister this this has to be the worst the worst jigsaw puzzle I've ever had to put together in my entire life I, I just can't believe that Honda would leave its mechanics hanging because I'm sure there are people who are out there on the streets right now who are wadding up their CBR 1000s and once they get up from taking their soil sample they look at their motorcycle and rip off all their plastic and the ram air and leave it on the side of the road and ride their bike home and when that motorcycle makes it to the Honda dealership those mechanics just look at it and must just shake their head but anyway we're putting the T on to the one-way valve now this this is a little vacuum switch which fits inside the Ram Air tube again these Ram Air tubes came off of eBay they were I don't know they were like $35 for the both of them so I figured I couldn't go wrong however I did find out there was stuff that wasn't drilled on the um, I think it's called the velocity or a hemispherical canister that goes on to the bottom of the ram air there there weren't holes drilled in it so it, they can't just mount directly to this. So if you look in this hole at the top, you can stick your finger in there and you can feel the little flapper door. The guy that owns this bike wanted the bike to be uh, OEM, just like it was when it was new. The bike runs fine without the Ram Air. I guess it runs even better with the Ram Air. I, I don't know yet. Once I get that put together um, and on the bike, I can't wait to try it out. Now the piece that's in my hand right now, this is a vacuum switch. That switch on the Bike Bandit website was $224. When I searched for the part number, the same switch for a Honda Accord was 174 so you do the math it's the same switch the CBR 1000 needs two of them so I bought two of them uh, off of eBay used both of the ones I bought came off of a Honda Valkyrie I really don't care because all of them have the same part number all I need is a cheap vacuum switch I paid ten dollars each for them off the Valkyrie so that knocked over $400 off of my Bike Bandit order by doing used OEM parts for this. Um, it, it would have been, actually it's more than that because there's a little filter that's on the top of it as well that I didn't have to buy. What you see me fumbling around with now is I don't know how this mounts up. I don't see how it mounts up. I see how it should go. I know what the picture shows me. There's no mounting holes. There's no screw holes. There's nothing like that on the Ram Air tubes themselves. Maybe if I would have spent the $400 and gotten the Honda Ram Air tubes, there might be screw holes or something to mount this switch to. Uh, but on the on the generic Chinese made eBay specials there's nowhere to mount this so 
you will see in the video where I end up taking a drill and just drilling a hole through the tube and running a zip tie on it. I'm lucky enough that the image from the service manual did show this vacuum tube coming off of the switch so I'm kinda lucky there anyway if you want to call that luck so again with that uh, the little thing that opens up the door there there's a hook on the end of it and there's a place on the door inside the ram air that that hook attaches to. It's quite difficult to get the hook through that little door and I guess maybe if you buy a OEM ram air setup I'm gonna assume it's a lot easier. The plastic was kinda rough and jagged on that little door uh, so it had to I had to kinda force that hook into the hole. The Honda would use better quality when they're putting their ram air together. So now that we have it attached to the ram air, we have to do the same thing. We have to cut a piece of hose and hook our switch up. But I gotta tell you, I, I feel for you. If you have to if you have to build ram air from scratch like I did, I feel for you. I'm here for you. I understand. Uh, it, it's bad. It's <laughs> it's bad. There's no way around it. It's just bad. If I have to do another CBR, I hope that the next CBR that I get is going to have the Ram Air. And not just for having the Ram Air to make it easier for me to get the bike up and going and running properly. Um, but just having the ram air so in my mind I can see how it goes together from the factory and, and I, I'll be able to compare it to what I did on this bike this is one of those things I will think about uh, the rest of the time I'm building bikes is having to uh, do this ram air as you see on this vacuum switch I pulled that little filter off the top there that little filter was another 15 bucks after you paid the 224 for that electronic vacuum pump switch and I think with that switch I think what it's made for is once you hit 5500 RPMs the bike sends a signal to those switches to tell them to open up to allow vacuum to pull that little door up so here's a hard plastic uh, I'll call it a grommet, a gasket, whatever. It's supposed to hold the uh, veloc veloc velocity box onto the ram air. And then this one is a pliable rubber one. And you can see the one from eBay is hard as a rock. There's no way I could ever use that. The one from Honda is soft, pliable rubber. And it just goes in the hole on the bottom of your ram air. And then this is where it gets good with the eBay Ram Air is the eBay, the eBay system doesn't have a hole for this grommet to fit into. Which to me seems to be an oversight from the guy in China who was designing this. And I'm sure he designed this back in 2008 or 2009. So he did not have the coronavirus like we have right now. He just wasn't paying attention to his job. So we got the little grommet in. And then here's the little air box. And this just changes the atmosphere of how the air goes into the system and nowhere on this is there a hole 
to mount that. So what I ended up doing was just taking a hole saw and putting a hole in it and uh, made it fit. Just very bad, very bad design, very bad design. And why on the other side they didn't set it up to where you could bolt this little box to the Ram Air is beyond me. Just It's just a bad job all the way around. I feel for you. If you're going through this, if you're watching this video, I, I've been there. I've done it. You, I hope you can hear my pain in my voice as I'm trying to explain this to you. And I'm watching this video while I'm narrating it. I'm just shaking my head. This, this is a 24-minute 20, video but I spent hours putting this thing together um, and I can't even put it on the bike yet we're watching this I'm narrating it I can't even put it on the bike yet because the plastics that I ordered from China were crushed during shipment so I'm still waiting on a new upper and a new gas tank to get here and you really can't put the bike together without the upper so DHL completely smashed my box of plastics and the upper was just totally, just totally destroyed and the gas tank cover was split in half. Otherwise I'd have this bike out the door right now. It's April 20th and I was hoping to have this bike on the road and in the mountains by now. And I'm still lacking plastic. So again, I'm putting the little grommet in. And it just, just fits into place. It goes into the Ram Air and it fits snugly. Better than that plastic piece of crap that they uh, sent with these. So if you're replacing your Ram Air, you know, go out to Bike Bandit or one of these other parts houses and get the OEM piece that fits in there. And you can see um, there's no hole in the top of this one. And there's no way that that hard plastic would ever fit into that hole. I don't know what they were thinking. Plastic and rubber are just two different compounds. Whoever designed it just just was clueless. So as I'm fumbling around with this, right now I know I'm sitting in my workshop just thinking to myself, what in the world am I going to do to get all this to mount up? So now I'm back. I drilled the those two little boxes I drilled the holes I have them mounted to the Ram Air again from my little kit of extra parts extra bodywork parts I just used one of the plastic fasteners that's what Honda would have used this plastic fastener has a Phillips head on it that screws down into the fastener, fastener and widens it out so this is the side that actually has a place to mount this box. I'm assuming that the other side, it must mount on the frame or something. I Guys, I just don't know yet. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I hope if you're watching this to get any good information out of me, I hope you're thinking in your head that, hey, I need to make a video putting this Ram Air together. So the rest of my brothers on CBRs can figure out how to rebuild their Ram Air after a good crash. So like I told you earlier, I need a place to put this switch. So I'm just drilling through the bracket. I 
and then once I drilled through the bracket on the Ram air tube, I'm just going to take a zip tie and I'm going to zip tie that switch to that little bracket. I, I want to say I thought when I was ordering the parts, I want to say there was a screw hole, but I, like I said, I don't know. I don't know. I do know that there is no screw hole. I know that the part came with bolts to bolt this switch to something. But nobody ever said what I needed to bolt this switch to. If I'm lucky, which I'm not, that would be like a fairing mount, but I'm not either. And that's another thing I don't have is I don't have the fairing mounts for this bike. So installing the fairings should be just a, a fascinating job as well. Because there's nothing I like doing better than making my own fairing stays, fairing mounts, and getting them to hook up properly on the bike. So same thing to the other side. I've drilled my hole. I'm just running my zip tie through to hold that little switch into place. If you've made it this far into the video, 21 minutes, again, I just got to ask you, please, please don't hit the down thumb button. Please give me a thumbs up for just the pain it took me to make this video this far. I, I absolutely hate this video as much as you do. But it, at least it gives you some kind of an idea how I put this Ram Air back together. So if you have to piece yours together, you have you know, some kind of an idea of where to start. I don't, I don't understand why they just why they didn't do more with the Honda manual. And this absolutely is a Honda vacuum hose. I bought three packages of that because it called for three packages. I think I could have done with like two packages. And then it's T just mounts to the bottom of the vacuum canister. And remember, you still have that hose that comes off of the bike. That should be hanging down the left side of your frame. And it comes out of your bike and then runs down the side of the air runner. to this one-way valve. And we're almost to the end of the video now. And I just gotta, if, you, if you're watching me right now, I just gotta say thank you. Thank you for watching. You have tons of patience if you've watched this video this far. This is, this is just a terrible project, and if you're going through it yourself, I feel for you. I feel your pain. I feel your pain. And I'm pretty sure I'm still missing stuff that goes on the front of this bike and on the front of this Ram Air. There's got to be more to it. I would imagine there's got to be some screens that go in the front of the tubes. I, I don't see how they mount up to the fairings. Uh, I can't wait till this bike is done and out of my life. I'm just glad that it runs great. So at least that part of it's out of the way. So thanks for watching my video. Come back and watch some more.